back to Writer's Ambition. To all of you who been hanging in since episode one, you's a real one. And to all of you who are just finding my humble channel, welcome. We hope you stay a while. Okay, it is time for my honesty vlog. So how has December gone? So clearly I already have my tea. I'm not going to be making it during the video this time. Why? Because I'm still obsessed with the very cherry tea and I already had some made. So we're just going to sip and chat today. Okay. So, y'all, it's the end of the year. Wow, can you believe it's the end of this dumpster fire year? Wow. <laughs> I just, I really can't believe it. I really felt like five seconds ago, it was May, and I was in extreme emotional psychological turmoil over my prospectus defense. Was that not five heartbeats ago, and now it's December? The third week of December, no less. Or at least the third Tuesday. Anyway, so let's just get right into the honesty. Per usual, because I lead, a, I lead a very dramatic life, so much has happened. So let's start with recapping my no, my November, my November goals, and check in on how I did with those. Spoiler alert: your girl did well. Okay get an Instagram. I did that. I even post on it sometimes. Two, meet my nano goal. Did that. My goal was 20,000. Uh, I reached that. At the end of it, I kind of um, merged projects where I wasn't necessarily only writing on Tales of Eliza Black. I got up to like 16 and some change and then had some inspiration on a separate project and was like started writing on that. Um, and I was like, okay, that's fine. So I got 20,000 words in the month of November and we'll take that to the bank. Okay. The third goal was to keep querying, which I did more on that in just a second. And then working with Natalie on my intro did that. Um, it was a really, it was really great. Um, definitely reach out to Natalie. I think she's pausing for a while I think she's pausing for a while um not like a while while but she's just like catching up on submissions so um check her website it's nataliecrown.com and check that and see like when she's gonna be open again but definitely check in with her it's super helpful to have someone who is in the who's a published author um, and who, you know, her colleagues and peers are saying she's really, really great. She's really, really great. And I'm telling you that she's super, super affordable. She did 15, the first 15K, 15,000 words for $25. You spend more than that on coffee in a month. Come now. Okay. So, and then the last one was to prep for Pit Mad, which I did. Um, and more on that in a second. Actually, let's just slip right into that. So here's the thing. Remember how last month I was like, yeah, I'm going to send my thing to Natalie and get feedback, even though this manuscript is super like close to the chest because I started it when I was 16 and blah, 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 that may have been edited out in post. Like the video, the video was getting long, so that might have just like come out, but that's the truth. Um, so that's why it took me so long to decide whether or not I wanted to go with Natalie, and I did. That was the reason, because that's I've been working on the manuscript. Well, not working on it for all that time, but like that's when I wrote it. It's my first one, so I have very sentimental attachments to it. Um, I worked with Natalie, rewrote my intro, and you know, yay for me. It was it was super super tight. Like she was very she was like, oh, this is sounding good. My CPs were like, yes, Brit. And then I was about to to submit that revision for Pit Mat. I did that was the that was the pitch that I pitched was the revisions that I had made after consulting with Natalie. Um, and it was that I was gonna like revise it to like have more of a heist feel and you know let all more than halfway through those revisions I was like never mind um <laughs> and it wasn't like a half-hearted never mind like I'm tired even though I was extremely tired because I basically wasn't sleeping trying to get it done in time to submit um 
but it was more like a, I feel like I'm just pivoting. Like, I feel like this is, I'm so cute. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I'm just changing this to be what I feel like an agent would want to see. And on some level, fair enough. But on another level, I want to submit the novel that I want to write. Because for sure, I'm going to have revisions even after even after I get with my agent, right? Like I want an editorial agent, so I would hope that there would be some revisionary feedback that they could offer for how to make this story super, super tight. I'm not looking to have a debut novel with freshman mistakes. Like, I'm a Virgo. We don't play that over here. Okay, cool. So I was like, okay, this is nice. Like I was seeing how it was tighter as far as goal, motivation, character, right? Like I was seeing that. But the, the heist tilt to it, I was like, I don't love. Um, and mostly because I was like, I find to write a heist novel at some point. That's not really what's on tap right now because I don't really have time to revise this into a, a heist novel. I would want to read more heist novels. I would want to to look up like what they would need like it just it it was too much it was becoming not the novel that I started with and so I was like all right that feels like not what you want to do right now anyway so let's be honest about that and pause pause everything because every time that I revise this book manuscripts um, it gets stronger in some way. When I wrote it when I was 16, it was just very cathartically what I needed as a 16-year-old who was not seeing fa YA fantasy with with characters that looked remotely like me. Um, and it was it was cute, you know. I it was cute. I read it a few times and I was like, "Oh, you're so funny!" Right? Okay, fine. I rewrote it like two two and a half years ago, and the dialogue was really good. Like I had a um, I had a friend who was in the literary arts department read it and she was like yeah your banter like your dialogue is real good great so I revised it up on the dialogue um revised it again like a few months ago like after from from her feedback um and then with Natalie's feedback and CPs are like wow the goal motivation character those things are very clear so every time I revised it it gets better um and as I was looking, um, pardon my Wi-Fi, as I was looking to to revise it again, like with the goal motivation character tighter, I was seeing that the world building was a little sketch. And it's because, I mean, I said this during my like author tube tag, I don't, I'm not fantastic at world building. I'm actually pretty mediocre at it mm, on this moment. Um, so... I was like, all right, well, you can't really go any farther until you do this world building. I have been thinking that I could put it off until the second book because they don't really get into this fantasy world until the last 30% of the novel. So I thought that I was going to be able to just like skate. Um, but it, it felt like it kept coming back to bite me that I didn't have that world all the way together and that things that were happening in the DK, the other, my, my other world were impacting how they were behaving in this world. So then I still needed to have something to base the action off of and I just didn't. So I was like, okay, well we need to like pause, which brings me to like my goals. So after that story time interlude, um, I decided to to pause in my querying, um, seeing as the queries that I sent what, four to six weeks ago at this point, my novel hasn't been that in about uh, three to four weeks. So um, I am going to end up having to re-query every single person on that list anyway with a completely different novel, um, which is what's going to be by the time I finish, which is fine. Which is fine and great because that means I don't have to make a new list and, you know, I love that for me. So, it is what it is. Um, but I decided to 
pause in my querying so that I could do a yet undone thing, which is actually plan my world. <gasps> I know. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. So my goals for December are to build my world. Let me tell you folks, I've already started this because, you know, third week, of the uh, third week of December. So I've already started this and it's going well. It's going well. Like already it's completely changing the novel in a good way because now there's like a logic in play. It, uh, we don't have time. It's going really well. Take my word for it. I'm honest. Honest. Okay. So build my world. Um, and read on writing and world building. Lizelle Stanberry um, suggested this book on um, on one of her videos when she did a review of it. She said it was really, really great. Um, she was like, I, I pants my world. And I was like, we see each other. Um, but she didn't want to do that going forward. So she got this book. Um, and he's also on YouTube. I believe his channel is Hello Future Me. It's Timothy Hickson. Um, so I'm going to start reading that tonight or tomorrow night i have a deadline for my dissertation introduction so you know the writerly life is such that etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so starting that tomorrow um and that's my that's my one of my main goals for december is to start reading that book and to actually like plan my world and it's been so hard my dudes because I have the heart of a pantser. I just want to go. Like, as soon as I started to get a sketch of this world, I was like, excellent, let's write a book. And I was like, mm, shoddy low, you always do that. And now here we are. So I'm trying to create my world before I start. Um, things are already bubbling up and that's fine. But I'm like, wait. Okay. Um, that's the first one. And the second one is to return to Tales of Eliza Black. So I sort of took a break from it. Um, what was preparing for Pit Mad and sending this manuscript to Natalie and blah, 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 blah. Um, so I sort of took a step back from Tales of Eliza Black and I, I did a bit of like sketching on it, like sketching an outline. Whew, am I becoming an honest to goodness planter? Because I was only kind, I was kind of kidding when I said I was a planter before. It's mostly pants. But now, Look at the evolution. I'm a butterfly. Okay, so those are my two goals. Um, build my world, read on writing and world building, read on writing and world building by Timothy Hickson, and return to Tales of Eliza Black as far as like writing. Um, to take just take the opportunity to like do that while I'm not working on the writing of this other YA fantasy manuscript. Okay, got it? Two things. Well, two and a half. Um, all right, you did that. So I started world building. That's my first you did that. Um, I haven't, I'm not taking it too far until I read this because I don't want to like work for nothing and then he'd be like, actually it's the opposite way. So I'm just going to wait to like really, really get into it until I start reading um, Hickson. But I did start world building and like I said, it's already having um, transformative effects on my characters in ways that I as a writer am finding really exciting and that's, we love that. So, and the second you did that for December is that I communicated with one of my, um, so when I did Def Pit, I got one, I got a favorite from an agent. I got one favorite from an agent that was legit. Um, and I sent her my, whatever she requested, um, 30 pages and a blah, 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 blah. I sent it. Um, and when my manuscript started to change, I was like, oh, should I tell her? Ask some advice from a person. Um, and I, she was like, yeah, you should. Um, so I did. And the agent was super duper, like, first of all, like, responded very quickly and was also really, really nice. So I was like, yeah, I've done some revisions to, um, to tighten up character. It's having, like, huge effects on the manuscript, so I just wanted you to know that. Yeah. Um, and she was like, no problem. Do you have an updated query and sample pages for me? And I was like, I don't. I don't have that. It's looking like a full rewrite. And she was like, no problem. Thank you so much for telling me. I would love to see it whenever you have it. 
what a positive affirmation for me to continue to keep agents up to date. Like, I don't know what I was afraid of. I, I don't know. I, maybe I thought she was going to be like, thanks for wasting my time to never query me again. I don't know. But that's not what happened. She was very nice about it. I'm proud of myself for being communicative. Okay, now, because it's December, I'm going to do a bit of an annual review real quick. Like, it has been a difficult year. It's pretty much been a raging, hot-burning wildfire globally. But there have been some good things. So I'm going to end this last honest tea of the year by lifting up accomplishments and good things that have happened this year. Because, you know, why not? Okay, so annual review. First things first... I'm the realist, not kidding. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Should I edit that out? I probably will not. Um, first things first, I started my channel. Hello. So I started my channel. It's been... It's been six months. It's been six months since I started my channel. I'm up to about 230 subscribers at the time of me filming this. Um, and, you know... Just proud of the follow through on my part. Um, actually starting it, actually uploading. I got a social media, I have a Twitter and an Instagram. Both of those are Brit Riderly. And I actually post things on there. Who would have thought? I um, started getting a little bit of a toe, a little bit of a pinky toe, just mm, into um, Twitter mingling spaces like the Monday Mixer that Jessica Fromberg and JL do on Mondays. They haven't, they paused it until next year because they both had like deadlines and stuff. But I was getting active into that the last couple of months. So proud of myself for that. Um, doing pitch competitions and time at one of my CPs. I have CPs now. I have people who've been like, oh yeah, when you're done, like definitely I'd love to be a beta for you. Like, I'm in here. I'm in the community. Um, speaking of being in the community, I met some black booktubers, met some black author tubers. As I've said many times in my video, that's extremely important to me. Community is really important to me, and I love black people unapologetically. <laughs> so, those are all the things that I've done this year that I'm super, super proud of. So, in in some ways that are important. It's been a great year for me and I've really, really grown and I appreciate every single person who has liked, commented, subscribed, shared, reached out to me, like welcomed me into community. I appreciate it so, so incredibly much. And I look forward to the first honesty of 2021, which is gonna be a great year. Let's just all claim that, okay? So, I've got nothing else. I will see y'all next week. Bye-bye.